Hello everyone. Guess who I am? I started and continue to organize every year the Hispanic Heritage Fiesta. I also started the 192 Magnet Miles Club in Strava. And I'm currently teaching fourth grade. So guess who I am? If you guessed Miss Acevedo, well, you guessed right. Today I'm going to be reading to you the book Earrings by Judith Barras. So let's start. I want them. I need them. I love them. I've got to have them. My mom and my dad won't let, that won't let me have them. Earrings, beautiful earrings for pierced ears. Teachers and lady dentists have them. Mothers and even grandmothers have them. Why won't my mom and my dad let me have them? Pierced ears. They say that I'm too young. I'm not too young. I'm actually very mature for my age. I clear the plates after dinner. I take a shower without even being told. They say that I need to be patient. I've tried being patient. I'm tired of patience. I want my ears pierced now, not when I'm 20, 40, 80, 100 years old. I want them. I need them. I love them. Beautiful earrings. Glorious earrings. My mom and dad say, wait for a couple of years. I tell them I'm the only girl in class, in my school, in the world, in the solar system, whose mom and dad won't let them have pierced ears. At your age, they say, pierced ears are premature. I hate premature. At your age, they say pierced ears are inappropriate. I really hate inappropriate. At your age, they say pierced ears look like, look a little tacky. I can't believe I got such an old fashioned parents. I want them, I need them, I love them. Beautiful earrings, glorious earrings. My dad and my, my mom and my dad keep saying weird things like, why? Because they've made me look good. Because they've made me, make me look, feel good. And because, furthermore, I'd be so proud of wearing them. I'd stand up straight and hold my head up high, which means that they would also be good for my posture. posture. And I hear that they keep your earlobes warm in winter. My mom and my dad ask, why? What do you want for your birthday? I tell them what I want for my birthday. Pierce ears. My mom and my dad ask, what do you want for Christmas? I tell them that I only want pierced ears. And what do you think I say when they ask me, what should we bring you back? from our vacation. I say earrings, big, beautiful earrings, glorious earrings, beautiful, glorious earrings for pierced ears. Instead of earrings, they say, we could give you a locket. I don't want a locket. Instead of earrings, they say, we could get you a charm bracelet. Oh, really? Don't, I really don't want a charm bracelet. As a substitute for earrings, they say, we brought you back this. Don't they understand? There isn't any substitute for earrings. I want them. I need them. I love them. Beautiful earrings. Glorious earrings. I argue and beg and sometimes there's, there, there's yelling and tears. I tell my mom and my dad all the things I would do, if only, if only, if only, if only, if only they would let me have pierced ears. Like, walk our dog every day for a whole year. Like, clean up my room every day for a whole year. Like, read a book once a week for a whole year. Like, 
be a nice little be nice to my little brother for one whole year well maybe six months and i wouldn't ask for new clothes because i could wear the same old clothes and just change my earrings i want them i need them i love them i keep yeah i keep telling my mom and dad i've got to have them my mom and dad say they're tired of hearing this but i promise i promise i promise i cross my heart promise that they'll never hear it again the minute i decide i'm old enough for earrings beautiful earrings glorious earrings beautiful glorious earrings for pierced ears the end